Hi everyone, welcome to BISP trainings. I am Faiza Alam, working as a functional consultant at BISP. BISP is a tech company providing technological solutions across the globe. In today's session, we will get to know about the balance sheet report and uh, how can we have this uh, balance sheet report under our uh, NetSuite application. So let's start. A uh, balance sheet is a financial statement uh, that reports a company's assets, liabilities, and shareholders' equity and is uh, usually prepared in a specific time period. Uh, as uh, the balance sheet is one of the three core financial statements that are used in the business in, a, in order uh, to evaluate a business uh, uh, profitability or I would say the business progress. Uh, it is a summarized form of all the company's assets, liabilities, and equities. Uh, in a simple words, I would say it is like a snapshot of the financial health of a company at a specified uh, period of time and it is usually calculated after every quarter, six months or a year. Uh, it uh, helps in providing the required information to the lenders, investors or key stakeholders uh, when they are about to invest in the business. It is an important uh, statement, I would say, as it provides the insight of the insight of the business liquidity, efficiency, and leverage to the lenders, investors, and stakeholders. If I talk about the liquidity, it's like uh, as balance sheet shows how much cash uh, you already have it available in your business. So we get to know about the liquidity feature of it. Efficiency is like uh, by comparing the income statement with the, our balance sheet, we can measure how efficiently our business uses its assets and how it can, uh, you know, uh, uh, shortlisted the or paid or pay off the liabilities. Leverage, if I talk about the leverage, so balance sheet tells us how much financial risk we face in our business. The main purpose of balance sheet is to assess the financial risk of a business. So here we can see, uh, we can uh, understand with this uh, equation that assets are under the balance sheet, uh, three, uh, for three, I would say the pillars are, three are the things that are important that are assets, liabilities and equity. So under the assets, all the current assets like cash and all and, and non-current assets like fixed assets, plant machinery, building and all falls. And the, under the liabilities, all the current and non-current liabilities comes. Uh, if I talk about the equity, so here share capital and retained earnings uh, are all coming. So what happens, the total amount of assets uh, listed on the balance sheet should always uh, be equal to its liabilities and equity accounts in order to have a proper balancing uh, figure of the uh, business. Moving on to the NetSuite application, we uh, for going uh, for having the view of the reports, we will be going under the reports, financials, and over to the balance sheet. So here we can see a detailed, uh, sorry, a summarized form of the balance sheet is here. All the we can see all the assets, uh, sorry, all the current assets, uh, accounts receivable, in all a big list of uh, the balance sheet is appeared before us. Like fixed assets, we are having. And if we go down, we will be having the current liabilities and the equities as well. And <clears throat> we can see here it's a, a summarized form of the balance sheet. If we want to have a detailed view of it, we can click on the view detail. So we can see a detailed view of our balance sheet is uh, appeared before us. Uh, a more elaborative, a more descriptive way we can uh, in, have our balance sheet like this. So uh, on the, here on the down uh, side, we can have the period. We can change uh, the period from these quick filters. Like we can change it to custom first uh, fiscal quarter, last fiscal year. We can change it. We can filter this period uh, into quarters or year if we want to. Next uh, option is uh, either we can change the period from here or from from or to tab also. 
subsidiary context selecting subsidiary in the netsuite application is one of the important considerations so it should be selected accounting book primary accounting book is usually taken over here and uh, the option is available here like if we want to have this balance sheet under the plain format or under the grid format we can change it like under the grid format it will be shown like this and uh, it is usually selected as plain uh, expand label is like uh, it is usually selected as system preference if we want to collapse also it will collapse the uh, whole information we can have now we can have that uh, we are we are only having the we are only having the current asset, fixed asset, other asset, current liabilities, and at the end, we are having the capital reserve. So it has collapsed the uh, balance sheet uh, report. So it is uh, it is advisable to select only system reference only. And uh, another option is it, it can be collapsed and it can be expanded. The other option that we are having here is uh, if we want to export this balance sheet into the excel format into the pdf or uh, if we want to export this into csv or word document we can do it from here and after doing all these things we can click on refresh and uh, this balance sheet would be uh, the changes that we have made would be saved in our uh, balance sheet report so this is how the balance sheet looks like in our uh, netsuite application uh, in case of any questions and queries, uh, <clears throat> feel free to write to us at www.bispsolutions.com. Thank you.